praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There you go. All righty then, here we go. Come on in, come on in, come on in. Come on in. Come on in, come on in, come on in. Praise the Lord. Come on in, come on in. Okay, I'm trying to set up some stuff here. Like I often say, if you see me look from one screen to the other, it's because I got all these screens up here. And I'm trying to focus um, on this. But come on in. Amen. Praise the Lord. We are here. We are here today. Doing what thus saith the Lord. We are here. We are here. We are here. In living color. <laughs> In living color, we are here. Praise the Lord. Come on in, and once you come in, I want you to share. Share, share with your family, share with your friends, share with your loved ones, your frenemies, your enemies, and all them folk. <laughs> oh, Jesus, come on in. Praise the Lord. Come on in. Come on in. Um, praise the Lord. Come on in. We bless the Lord on today. It's a new day. It's a new day. Come on in, I want you to share. Share, share with your family, share with your friends, share with your frenemies, your enemies, and all the mother folk. <laughs> oh God, let them know that we are on on today. Amen. Um, trying to do what thus saith the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Amen. Praise the Lord. I want you to share, 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 share with your family, share with your friends. Amen. Let me know that you're on. Amen. Praise God. It's a new day. We're just trying to Amen. Glory to God. Come on in. Come on in. Hey, Parthenia and Josiah and whoever else is watching. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Brittany. 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 Praise God. I give God praise for you on today. It's a new season. Amen. It's a new day. Words of encouragement. I just want to bless the people on today. The people of God, give them a word. Amen. Hey, thank you for the heart, sweetheart. Amen. Thank you for the heart. I appreciate it. Amen. Praise God. I love you too. More, more, more. Amen. Uh, it's a new day. Amen. We, we're going into the Word of God in a few minutes. As a matter of fact, we're getting ready to go into the Word of God very shortly. Amen. Because we know this, this is a time when we need to stand strong on the things of God. And we know that the people of God are going through some things and we're going to go through in order to get, we got to go through in order to get to our destiny. We got to go through the different tests and different trials in order to get, get to our destiny. But knowing that God is able to bring us through. Amen. Praise God. I'm getting ready to go on in. Amen. Uh, we're going to the first Samuel 
chapter 17 and begin with the 34th verse. First Samuel chapter 17 at the 34th verse, and I'm going to read some things and I want you to just take your time and listen. Good afternoon, Apostle. Praise God. Glad to see you on the line. Hey, praise God. Excited. Hadn't seen you in a while. But I give God praise for you being on the line on today. Praise God. Praise God. Father, we thank you right now for this day. We thank you for our life, health, and strength. We thank you for last night's rest and early morning rising. We thank you for having the activities of our limbs. We thank you for a new day. We thank you for the cool weather. We thank you for breathing on us this morning. And I just tell you, thank you. Father God, search our hearts. And if you find anything that's not like you, we ask you to strip us of it. Uh, anything that's in common with the enemy, we ask you to move right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, have your way. Put bonds behind the cross. Let me decrease that you may increase. Father, I pray for the bereaved families on today. Somebody's preparing to lay their loved one to rest. And Lord, I ask you to comfort their hearts, God. Lift their burdens off their heavy heart, God. Knowing that you're able, God, to bring them through this. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, God, lay your nails, God, hands upon them and sh shield and protect them right now, Father, in the name of Jesus. God, I pray for the sick. Lord, you are a healer above all healers. You are a miracle worker. Oh, praise God, God. And even as you spoke this morning, there is nothing too hard for God. And I, I give you praise and I give you glory. Oh, God, use me for your glory, however you see fit. Open up our ears that we can hear and our hearts to receive. And our minds to comprehend. Send that anointing that's going to make preaching easy. Send that anointing that's going to make teaching easy. God, send your chocolate kind of glory. Even in the midst of this room, even on the airways, God, that word that be spoken on today will touch the hearts of your people and encourage their hearts on today. And we thank you. We bind the enemy in the agenda that he has. We plead the blood of Jesus against it. Understanding that the blood still works. We tell you thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. We bless the Lord. Good afternoon, First Lady. Amen. Praise God. We we bless the Lord. Amen. First Samuel, I'm not going to prolong. First Samuel, chapter 17. Amen. Praise God. Beginning with the uh, 34th verse. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, it was really a blessing to me as I began to read it. Uh, First Samuel, chapter 17, beginning with the 34th verse. And I'm reading from my New Living Bible. And it says, but David said to Saul, your servant used to keep his father's sheep. And when a lion or a bear came and took a lamb out of the flock, I went out after it and struck it and delivered the lamb from his mouth. And when it rose against me, I caught it by his beard and struck it and killed it. Your servant has killed both lion and bear. And this uncircumcised Philistine will be like one of them, seeing he has defiled the armies of the living God. Oh, my God. David was upset about that. He defied the armies of the living God. He said, he said, this is what he said. He said, moreover, David said, the Lord who delivered me from the paw of the lion and from the paw of the bear, he will deliver me from the hand of this Philistine. And Saul said to David, go and the Lord be with you. So Saul clothed David with his armor and he put a bronze helmet on his head. He also clothed him with a coat of mail. David fastened his sword to his uh, to this armor and tried to walk, for he had not tested them. And David said to Saul, I cannot walk with this, for I have not tested them. So David took them off. Then he took his staff in his hand. He chose for himself five smooth stones. Five smooth stones. Amen. Glory to God. From the brook and put them in a shepherd's bag, in a pouch which he had, and his sling was in his hand. He drew near to the Philistine, so the Philistine came and began drawing near to David. And the man who wore the shield went before him. And when the Philistine looked about and saw David, he disdained him, for he was only a youth, ruddy or good-looking. I read it in one, one, one uh, commentary when it said that David was around about 20 years old at this time. So the Philistine came and said... <laughs> Uh, came and began to draw near to David, and the man who bare the shield went before him. And when the Philistine looked and saw David, he disdained him, for he was only a youth ruddy and good-looking. So the Philistine said to David, Am I a dog that you come to me with sticks? And the Philistine cursed David by his God. And the Philistine said to David, Come to me, and I will, eat your, I will give your flesh to the birds of the air and the beasts of the field. Then David said to the Philistine, 
You come to me with a sword, with a spear, with a javelin. But I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defiled. This day, the Lord will deliver you into my hand, and I will deliver you, and I will strike you and take your head from you. And this day I will give the carcass of the camp of the Philistine to the birds of the air and the wild beasts of the earth, so that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. Then all this assembly shall know my God, that the Lord does not save to David, to meet David, that David Herod and ran toward the army to meet the Philistine. David didn't back up. He ran to him. He said, okay, we ready to fight. You ready to fight? Let's go. Just bring it on. Then David, oh my God, then David put his hand in his bag, took out a stone, and he slung it, and he, he slung it and struck the Philistine in his forehead so that the stone sank into his forehead, and he fell on his face to the earth. So David prevailed over the Philistine with a sling of a stone, but struck the Philistine and killed him if there was no sword in his hand. Oh, my God. So if you see, my, my subject is what? My subject is, it's time to face your giant. I don't know what your giant is today. I have no idea what your giant is today. But you know what your, your giant is. It's time to face your giant. It's time for running, running away from the giant. You look at this, look at this scripture and talk about David. And I begin to read about uh, Goliath. They said that it, 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 we're talking about how big Goliath was, and they said Goliath was. I'm trying to get this. Okay, Goliath was nine feet tall. He was nine feet tall. Giant. Goliath was a giant. It said Goliath was nine feet tall. My God, hallelujah, praise God, praise God. But that did not bother David. He said he, the giant was about nine feet, nine inches tall and wore at least 175 pounds of armor. Everything that, now big as he is, why in the world he need all that armor? But anyway, he had on, it was about 175 pounds of armor. The spear that he had, it said, was over 15 pounds. There was no problem for Goliath since he himself must, it said Goliath himself must have weighed at least six or 700 pounds. Oh my God. Can you imagine this giant nine feet, nine inches tall with all this armor on him and he went anywhere from six to 700 pounds. Oh my God. That was a big man. That was a big giant. But that did not scare David because David knew what he had on his side. He knew that God was on his side. He knew that he would not, God would not allow him to be defeated by the enemy. I want you to understand today. I don't care what you're going through or what you're dealing with. There's nothing too hard for God. Hallelujah. Amen. Even though Goliath was a giant, praise God. I want to understand today, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. But we got to trust God. Know that God is able, that God is going to bring us through this, no matter what it looked like. Good afternoon, co Pastor. Amen. There is nothing to hard for God. It's time for us to, to face our giants, no matter what your giant is. Praise God. David didn't care. Even Saul was afraid. Even the, 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 uh, they were, the other ones was, uh, was afraid to even face the giant because his bark was worse than his bite. And he began to talk about what he was going to do to them. He began to defile the God of Israel. Amen. And David got upset because he began to talk about his God. But talk about his God. But David knew that his God could do anything but fail. We got to trust God no matter what it looked like. I don't know what your giant is. Praise God. It may be fear. It may be sickness. It may be heartache. It may be disappointment. Hallelujah. Praise God. It may be weakness. It may be loneliness. I don't know what your giant is. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. But it's time for you to face your giant. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. With the word of God, we got to stand on the word of God. Praise God. We got to trust him. Amen. Even in the midst of our storm, even in, in the midst of our trial, we got to trust God. Praise God. David don't want word about how big Amen. Praise God. Goliath, boy. Amen. He was standing up for God. He know that God had never failed him yet. Praise God. David could even begin to tell that you don't know my story. Praise God. Hallelujah. Everybody, his brothers and others there, the rest of them, they was afraid for David. Say, you just too little. You ain't got no business trying to do this. Praise God. But David won't even worry about it because he know he had God on his side. Praise God. Hallelujah. God just wants us to trust him. When you got God on your side, on your side, I don't care how big the giant is. Amen. God is able. 
Amen. I don't care how big the problem is. God is able to deliver. God is able to work that thing out. Amen. It's time to trust God. There's nothing too hard for God. I don't care what you're dealing with. I don't care what is being said or what's being done. There's nothing too hard for God. Trust God and know that God is able to bring you through the storm. God is able to bring you through the test. God is able to bring you through the, through the stress, whatever you're going through, the heartache, whatever you're dealing with, God is able. Praise God. Hallelujah. The heartaches. Amen. Every disappointment, anything that you're dealing with. Amen. God is able. Hallelujah. Glory to God to bring you through. David began to look at this giant. Amen. He said, I'm going to tear your head up, cut your head off. Praise God. Hallelujah. But Saul began to look at David. He said, this arm, amen, that I'm going to give you. Praise How many of y'all know that sometimes you got to get light for the flight? Praise God. The word of God. Amen. Praise God. It began to tell us in the word. It said, look, lay aside every weight in the sin that do it so easily. But said, this Hebrew to everyone said, lay aside every weight. Amen. Praise God. All this stuff that Saul had put on David. Amen. It was a weight. David said, I can't, I can't do it. I cannot do it with this. This is just too much. Amen. I need to take it off. This is just too heavy. I'm not used to this. Glory be to God. Praise God. Hallelujah. We got to get the mentality. I'm not used to being defeated. I'm used to believing that God is going to bring me through. I'm not used to giving in to the enemy. I'm used to trusting God. Praise God, how he never failed me yet. I look back over my life and everything that I went through, God has brought me through. So I'm trusting God. Hallelujah. He said, lay it aside, get rid of, amen, everything that's in your way, that's hindering you, everything, hallelujah, that's holding you back, anything that's in your life that's slowing you down. Praise God. Paul told me, he said, lay aside every way, amen, and sin that do it so easily beset us, but run this race with patience, amen, bro, God, we got to run, we got to stand, amen, not run from it, but run this race with patience. David didn't run. David didn't run, praise God. He began to let the giant know, amen, bring it on, amen, praise God. Even though the giant was nine feet tall, praise God, hallelujah, nine feet, nine inches tall, weighs six to seven hundred pounds. David didn't care nothing about the size, praise God. So that let him know that he know that his God is able to bring him through, praise God. But he, he needed to let the, de let the devil know, you don't know my story. God brought me through that, and he's going to bring me through this because I'm trusting God. I'm standing on the word of God. I'm believing that God is going to see me through it, praise God. God, all he wants us to do, he wants us to trust him. That he will bring you through. He'll fight your battle. Battle don't belong. That's no matter what it is. No matter what it looks like. Praise God. No matter how big they are, God can deliver you. No matter how big the giant is that's in your life. God, hallelujah. God can deliver you from your giant. Amen. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. The bigger the test is. Amen. God is able to bring you through the storm. God is able to bring you through the test. All he wants us to do is to trust him. He have never failed you. You look back over your life. Amen. And see about everything out of everything that you've been through. Has God failed you yet? No. And he's not about to fail you. Now, I don't care what the devil say. God is not going to fail his people. He's going to bring us through. He's going to bring us through the storm. He's going to bring us through the test. Amen. And all he wants us to do is trust him and believe him and know that he's going to bring us through. He's going to see us through the storm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. David did not care. He won't worry about it. Praise God. He couldn't deal with all this heavy stuff. Glory be to God. Take it. Shake it off. And praise God. That's what David did. He shook it off. Glory be to God. He said, hallelujah. And packed it under He said, I can't do this. Take this mess off of me. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We cannot run this race weighed it down. We got to get get light for the flight. Amen. Praise God. There's a war out there. We're, we're wrestling against flesh. We're not wrestling against flesh, but, but against principalities and spiritual weakness in high place. It's time to stand. Praise God. It's time to face your giant. It's time out, out for out panicking with the devil. Praise God. It's time to stand on the word of God. Glory be to God. This giant weighed between six and seven hundred pounds, but that didn't matter to David. It doesn't matter to David how big that giant was. It didn't matter to David how tall it was. David was uh, defending his God. He was defending the God. He talked to the giant, talking about his God. Hallelujah. David loved God. So David loved God. Hallelujah. He said, oh, you're not going to talk about my God like that. 
Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. They didn't think he was capable of, of doing what he did. Amen. Praise God. There are people that don't think that you are capable of doing what God has got you to do or what God has called you to do. But we got to stand on the word of God and let God prove himself. Let God show himself strong. And I guarantee if we stand on the God will show himself strong. Glory to God. There's no time to get weak on God. There's no time to slide back on God. It ain't no time to fall away from God. It's time to run to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. The word of God said, hallelujah. Glory to God. That the giant looked at David, talked about him. You, you see the little strongest man out here? This little street, this ain't nothing but a little boy to me. Pray that I can chew him up and spin him out. Praise God. David just let him talk. Hallelujah. Don't you know talk is cheap. Action speaks louder than words. Amen. And the giant began to boast at what he was going to do to David. Praise God. But David won't worry about it. Praise God. Because why David was concerned. Amen. Amen. David trusted God. He trusted the God of Israel. He trusted the God of God. He trusted that God was going to bring him through. What are you waiting on? Are you still trusting God? Are you leaning and depending on God? Do you know that God is able to bring, hallelujah, God is able to bring you through the storm. God is able to bring you through the test. Amen. God is able to bring you through the persecution. God is able to bring you through the disappointment. God is able to bring you through. All we got to do is trust him. All we got to do is lean and depend on him. Praise God. Don't doubt him. Amen. We don't have time to doubt. David couldn't afford to doubt. Hallelujah. Praise God. David began to look back over his life. And he said, there was a lion that came after me. He said, but God allowed me to, amen, to defeat the lion. Amen. To kill the lion and the bear. Amen. He said, you don't know my story. Hallelujah. I don't look like what I've been through. Amen. I may be little and scrummy, but I tell you what, the God that I serve is bigger than any giant in the land. Praise God. How often we can say today, the God that I serve, my God, from the, the God that you serve is bigger than any situation that you're going to. Amen. Praise God. Any, any circumstance that you're dealing with, hallelujah. the God that you serve is bigger. Oh, glory. He's able to bring you through the test. He's able, praise God, hallelujah, to knock your giant down. Praise God. It's time to face your giant. Oh, praise God. It's time out for backing out, backing up because I'm going through this. I'm going through that. Uh, it's time to go head on with that devil. Praise God. David went head on. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Saul was, was a king. And Saul was, and he was even scared. He, he, he was shaking his boot. He didn't know what was going to happen. Amen. He was trying to find, he was willing to give up his daughter. Amen. Praise God for anybody can defeat the giant. <clears throat> but David was concerned, amen, about the people of God. Hallelujah. He was concerned about his God. He didn't like it because the giant, amen, was defying his God. Hallelujah. Or uh, will you stand up for your God? Or will you bow down to the giant? Will you bow down to that giant that's in your life? Are you going to bow down to whatever you're having to deal with, whatever you're going? Are you going to put your tail between your legs and bow down? Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. But are you going to stand strong? Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. He told him anyway, this battle ain't yours. Amen. The battle belongs to the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Lord began to let David know, I got you. Even with the lion in the back, he let David, I got you. Praise God. Hallelujah. We got to trust God. At the end of the day, we got to trust God. You don't, he, you don't know, Mr. God proved himself to David. Hallelujah. As Goliath moved forward towards David, David didn't run the other way because of his size. Ah, David didn't run the other way. David didn't back up. David didn't sit in his little corner. David said, bring it on. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. God is able to bring you through this. Amen. David was determined. Amen. To stand for God. You got to have that mentality. Never do what you're going to do, but I'm going to stand for God. I'm not going to take down. Hallelujah. I'm not going to compromise. I'm not going to be a wimp. I'm not going to be a weasel, but I'm going to stand <coughs> for God. We used to sing the song years ago, I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. Amen. How many soldiers do we have on this line that's in the army of the Lord? How glorious. How many of y'all are true born soldiers in the army of the Lord? How many say, I'll fight, 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 let me fight. I'm going to hallelujah. Glory to God. I got to go through. We got to go through some tests. We got to go through some trials. But we got to trust God. 
to bring us out. If he allowed you to go in, don't you know he's going to allow you to come out with the victory? Praise God. I want you to understand today that there will be glory after this. There will be a praise after this. But you got to give God a yet praise. You got to trust that God's going to bring you through. Got to trust that God's going to fight your giant. Praise God. You got to stay in time to face your giant. Praise God. Let the devil, I recognize you. Praise God, but you will not overtake me. You have no authority in this habitation. I belong to the King of kings and the Lord of lords, and I'm going to stand strong. I'm going to trust God. I'm going to do what God called me to do. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Esther said, if I die, let me die, but I'm going to see the King. I'm going to stand on the word of God. We got to have that mentality. We can't afford to give up. Hallelujah. So, so what David did, amen, praise God. The, the Bible tells us, amen, all the gear that the, that, that the giant had. Not only did he have gear, he had all his, his, his people behind him that supported him. Glory be to God. Don't you know sometimes when you fight your battle, you ain't got nobody behind you. You get nobody but you and God. Amen. When you got you and God, you got the majority. Glory be to God. He is the king of kings. Amen. Hallelujah. He is the battle axe in the time of war. Glory be to God. He's going to win the battle. Praise God. He never lost the battle yet. Hallelujah. He's going to win. The victory belongs to the people of God. So we got to stand on the word of God. We got to trust God. Hallelujah. No matter. Sometimes it's hard. It, it seems so hard. But if I guarantee you, if you trust God, God will bring you through. If you hold up here and say, God, here I am. God, I trust you. I don't know how you're going to do it, but God, I trust you. I'm depending on you, God. I believe you're going to bring me through it. David knew if God brought him through the other, God knows he'll bring him through this. If he gave him the victory with the bear, hallelujah, and the lion, he'll give him the victory with this. Glory be to God. I can imagine the other ones, the, the, the guys of the soldiers, the ones that was out there fighting, they were looking in amazement what was going to happen. They was a little nervous for David, but David wasn't scared at all. We cannot face the giant with fear. Fear is of the enemy. Fear is false evidence appearing real. Praise God. God didn't give you the spirit of fear, but a power and love and a sound mind. Stand on the word of God. Believe what God's word say. Don't. It's not enough to quote the scriptures. It's not enough to read the word. You better know what the word is saying. Hallelujah. It's time to stand on the word of God. It's time to walk in the word of God. It's time to believe God. Take him at his word. Hallelujah. There's power in the word of God. There's power in the name of Jesus. The blood still works. Glory to God. How many of y'all know today that the blood still works? I don't care what it looked like. The blood still works. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Trust God at the end of the day. Praise God. David wasn't afraid of the giant. Praise God. It's time for you to face your giant. Praise God. You done, know, you done buckled down too long now. Amen. It's time for you to face your giant. You done had your tail between your legs too long now. It's time for you to face your giant. Amen. And let God fight your battle. There's nothing too hard for God. I don't know what your, hallelujah, I don't know what your giant is. You know what your giant is. You know what you're going through. You know you're at a point where you're saying, Lord, I can't take it no more. You know you're at a point about where you're about to give up and say, this is, I'm done, God. Hallelujah. But don't you give up on God because God won't give up on you. He's wanting you to just release it and let him do what he wants to do. Praise God. That's the problem. We try to hold on it too long, but we got to loosen and let it go and let God do what he do best. And that's what he does. Hallelujah. He gets the victory. Ah, glory to God. He said, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. I will repay. So we got to stand on the word of God. David depended on God. Glory be to God. Like I said, the giant, he came. It doesn't matter how big he was. Praise God. I don't know why he felt like he needed all that armor. Praise God that he had on him. Praise God. But at, at the size he was and the height he was. Praise God. But he had, had on all this armor. And I don't care. It doesn't matter how much the devil is trying to push you. Hallelujah. God is more powerful than the devil. Praise God. And at the end of the at, at the end of the story, you better look at this picture and look at it right. At the very end, his armor didn't do him no good. His shield didn't do him no good. His sword didn't do him no good. That 175 pounds worth of armor didn't do him a bit of good. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. We don't have to fight this battle. We gotta trust God. We gotta give God those giants. 
We got to say, God, this is it. This is what I'm going through right now. This is what I'm dealing with right now. God, I need you to fight my battle. I'm turning it over to you. We should sing the song years ago. Turn it over to Jesus and he'll work everything out all right. Praise God. But we got to trust God. We got to continue to lean and depend on God, knowing that he's able ah, to see you through. He's able to bring you through. He's able to bring you out. He's able to give you the victory. Amen. Don't be defeated. Don't allow the enemy to defeat you. Praise God. You belong to the king. There is no defeat in the people of God. God give us the victory. Praise God. We belong to God, the king of kings and the Lord of lords. And we can stand strong. We can hold our head up high and say, God, I thank you for what you're getting ready to do. Hallelujah. Don't be defeated by the enemy. Don't let the enemy make you back up in the corner. Don't let the enemy make you put your tail between your legs. I ain't doing it no more. Praise God. Hallelujah. Put, uh, put your head up. I say, I'm going to stand strong. Come hell or high waters. I'm going to stand strong. I'm going to go through what I got to go through. I'm going to go through the storm. I'm going to go. Because first of all, you got to understand in the midst of you're going through, you're not by yourself. Because Jesus promised, I never leave you. No, will I forsake you, but I'll be with you always, even to the end of the world. We got to learn how to trust God at the end of the day. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to God. Praise God. David, David, he said, you know what? I cannot carry all this on my back. This is just too much. How many of y'all have, 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 have been through something or going through something, and it's like a weight on your shoulder? It's a weight in your mind. It's a weight on your shoulder. It's a weight in your back. You're, you're heavy. You're weighted down. It's a, I, I read in the word where he said, lay aside every weight, every weight in the sin that do so easy to beset us, but run this race with patience. Let, let go of it. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. How glory to God. But let me tell you something. David decided, this is all I need right here. He got, he got five stones. Glory be to God. And the, enemy, and the enemy laughed at him. The giant laughed at him. What you going to do? Why y'all send him out here, him out here to me with these little sticks and these little stones? What is he going to do? I'll eat him alive. Hallelujah. Call the devil's bluff. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. He's a roaring lion. The word says so. He says he's like a roaring lion. Praise God. He is scared, scaring up the people of God with his big mouth. Amen. With the big thing, fearing. Amen. Causing fear. Amen. Causing stress. Causing heart attacks. Glory be to God to come upon the people of God. But we got to stand on the word of God. Know that God is able and God is going to bring you through it. God is going to see you through the storm. God is going to see you through the test. But you got to trust God at the end of the day. Amen. It's time to face your giant. Praise God. It's time to push it. It's time out for pushing it to the side. Amen. It's time to go head on with your giant. Huh? Because worst of all, I want you to understand, if you go head on with your giant, God is going with you. He's going to go head on with you. Amen. Glory be to God. He's not going to let you go by yourself. You got to understand, we got the devil's boss, man. And ain't that, he can't do no more to us than a God allow him. He's got to get permission from the Father anyway. Glory be to God. But it's been good to read the scripture, amen. David, the word said David went to the brook and he got five smooth stones. And like I said, the end of the devil laughed at him. He said, what in the world are you going to do with that? Ha, huh? David little scrumpy somebody and you got this giant nine feet, nine inches tall over your head, six or seven hundred pounds. Oh man, and you're going to defeat, oh, you think you're going to defeat me? You little scrumpy little boy. Ha, huh? But hallelujah, they didn't know what David had on the inside. They didn't know, he didn't know who David was trusting. He didn't know that that, that David had was, was more than six or seven hundred pounds, was more power than six or seven hundred pounds. Don't you know, I don't care what you're going through, God is more powerful than what you're going through. God is more powerful than what you're dealing with. We got to trust God. Either we trust God or we don't trust God. Either we believe God is going to bring us through or we don't believe God is going to bring us through. We got to stand on the word of God. I don't care what it looks like. We got to stand on the word of God. We got to trust him and believe that he's going to see us through this here. Even your giant, it's time to face your giant. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Trust him. Amen. Praise God. So the word said David. David slung 
the first song, and where did he hit it? Hit him right in the head. If you can get that head, glory be to God, the rest of the body is gone. Glory be to God. I read over in the word of God in the book of Genesis. Praise God. When he told me, he said, he said he, he should bruise your head. What he said, going to bruise your head. Hallelujah. You're going to be wounded. He told the enemy. He began to talk to, glory be to God. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. He, he, he began to talk to Eve. Glory be to God. And he began to tell her. He began to tell the enemy. I'm going to bring enmity between you two and her children. They're going to wound your head when you bruise that heel. Glory to God. If you get that head, amen, even off your enemy. And I'm not talking about in the natural, y'all. Amen. In the spiritual realm. If you get that head, God will get the rest of it. He'll take the rest of it. Amen. Praise God. Going to get that head. Amen. When he hit the Goliath, all it took was one powerful stone. Hit him in the head. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. It was just that powerful. That's how powerful the word of God is. That's how powerful God is. Amen. That's how powerful when you speak the word of God, what it does to the enemy. That's how powerful it is when you speak the word of God. Hallelujah. Speak it with the authority. Speak it with the anointing. Let God do what God does best. Glory be to God. When you get that head, praise God. He didn't fall backward. He fell on his face. Glory be to God. The word said he fell on his face. He didn't fall backwards. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We got to take it and understand that the God that we serve can do anything but fail. Amen. That means he ended up bowing down even in the midst of his death. Glory be to God. Amen. To, the, to David because David hit him in the head with the stone. He fell on his face. Glory be to God. The hallelujah. If you can get that head, the rest of the body is done. That's a done deal right there. But we got to trust God. Praise God. Genesis 3.15 says, I'm declaring war between you and the woman, between your offspring and hers. He will wound your head and you will wound his heel. Glory be to God. That's the message Bible. Praise God. In the voice Bible, it says, I will make you and your brood enemies, brood of, uh, enemies of the woman. And all her children and the woman's child will stomp your head. David, David took his head off. Amen. The enemy talked that much junk. Look at the enemy. He talked all that junk. And all the little took a stone. Amen. To bring him down. So what are you waiting on? What's, what's your problem? <laughs> is bluffing you. He's blowing out the hot air to you. Amen. You ain't gonna make it. You're gonna die. This is gonna happen. You can't pay your bills. Don't nobody like you by yourself. You ain't nobody wanna come. Da, 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 da. That's the trick of the enemy. Praise God. Close your ears to anything the enemy have to say. He's a liar from the bed. He's a liar from the beginning. Gonna be a liar in the end. And all this stuff, all this big talk that the giant was making guess who end up with the victory. David, praise God. And all this armor, oh my God, from thy all this armor, amen. Glory to God that the that the enemy had on, that the giant had on. Praise God. It didn't do him a bit of good. Glory be to God. Out of all this mouth running that the people are saying about you, it ain't gonna do him a bit of good. Because you're gonna come out with a victory because you're gonna trust God. You got to trust God. Hallelujah. Know that God is able to bring you through it. Knowing that God is able to bring you through the storm. Praise God. Hallelujah. And at the end of the story, it began to let us know. Amen. Praise God. Not only, hallelujah, did David, hallelujah, he won the battle. He won the battle. He told him, I'm going to take your head off. And the, and the devil laughed at him. Praise God. He still, he was laughing in his face. I can only imagine what he was thinking when he saw David running towards him. David didn't run from his giant. So don't you run from your giant. Don't you run from your giant. Don't you run from your test. Amen. You want to go high in Lord? Hallelujah. Allow God. God, give me the strength to stand. Hallelujah. Amen. Keep me covered under your blood that I can stand whatever I got to go through. Whatever storm I got to go through, God, because I trust you. You brought me through this. You brought me... They said I wouldn't be nothing, but look at me now. Praise God. The devil still lied. He lost again. So we got to trust God. Hallelujah. Out of all this stuff, y'all check this out. All this mouth running. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Out of all this mouth running that the giant did, he had to fall down before David.
Ah, out of all this mouth winning and the, and the things that people are doing and circumstances, amen, and you trust in God, you putting that word out there, amen, they're going to bow down to you. Glory be to God. They're going to fall in your face, amen. Praise God. Oh, yes, sir. Glory be to God. But we got to trust God. Even through the storm, even through the death, we got to trust God. Know that God is able. He's going to bring you through it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. He said, well, we got to stand. Oh, God, we got to stand, hallelujah, even through our storm, even through our, we got to stand. We got to trust God. Hold on to God's unchanging hand. Build your hopes on things eternal. Face your giant. Praise God, hallelujah. Whatever you're dealing with, whatever you're going through, face your giant. It's time to face your giant. It's time out for making excuses for not doing what you're supposed to do. Amen. Face your giant. Trust God. Believe that God is able. Praise God, hallelujah. We're living in the time, y'all, now, where the saints of God are going through, the people of God is going through, hallelujah, from one thing to the other. Praise God, glory to God. Giants are coming in their face. Circumstances are coming in their face. Situations are coming in their face. They're getting overwhelmed with this. They're getting overwhelmed with sickness. They're getting overwhelmed with children. They're getting overwhelmed with family. They get, the death is just all over everywhere. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Striving to make ends meet. Amen. Everything is going up. The food is going up. The clothes is going up. Everything is going up. Trust God. We got to trust God. God is going to take care of his people. I don't care what it look like. I, I ain't got no better sense than believe that God is going to take care of his people. Uh, he said, I never leave you, no I forsake, but I will be there with you always, even to the end of the world. Trust God. Praise God. Glory be to God. Face your giant. Stop backing up off your giant. Glory be to God. Because when you back up, amen, praise God. If David would have backed up when the giant headed towards him, if David would have turned around and ran the other way, the devil would have laughed in his face and said, I, I know you couldn't do nothing. Glory be to God. And this is what the enemy is doing to some of the people of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. He laughing in your face because you're not facing your giant. Glory to God. You're not standing. On the word of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. He come with all these different things. Amen. From A to Z. He come. Amen. Instead of us standing and facing our giants. It's time to trust and know that God is going to bring you through the storm. That God is going to bring you through the test. It's time to face your giant. Face your giant. Well, you don't know. No, I don't know. But God knows. God knows what your giant is. I don't know what your giant is. But God, this is the word that he gave me for the people of God on today. Face your giant. It's time to face your giant. Because there's nothing too hard for God. Look at what David had to deal with. Amen. Glory be to God. And even if you go back and look at after David did it, they saw still got mad with him. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Glory be to God. But we got to stand on the word of God. Face your giant. Glory be to God. We can't, ain't got time to run away. Amen. Because of what we're dealing with. Ain't no time to back up on God. It's time to trust God. It's time to put all your trust and, and, and dependence on God. Because that's all you got right now. Sometimes family will let you down. Children will let you down. Loved ones will let you down. Good afternoon, Apostle Robinson. They will let you down. But let me tell you something. If you stand and face your giant, praise God, David faced his giant. Praise God, he a little scrawny somebody, but he stood tall in the word of God. He stood with God. And I guarantee you, if you stand tall in the midst of your giant, right in the face of your giant, amen, all he can do is put his tail between his leg and go the other way. Praise God, hallelujah, glory be to God. But we got to stand on the word. Do we trust God? Do we depend on God? Do we lean on him? Do we know that he's able to fight our battle? Do we believe the word of God when he said the battle don't belong to you? David knew that the battle didn't belong. He knew that God was going to bring him through because God didn't fail him with the lion and the bear. He said, and even when the lion got up, he said he grabbed him by the neck and he killed him. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Sometime when you're going through something, amen, praise God. It don't go down right there, but I guarantee you when you come back, amen, amen, glory to God, hallelujah, and grab that joker by the neck, amen, and choke him half to death, amen, that demon got to go, that devil's got to go, amen, that situation got to go. Join that giant by his neck and say, I will not take down. I'm standing on the word of God. In the name of Jesus, you have no authority in this habitation. I'm going to stand. Glory to God. Hallelujah. David 
stood. Amen. David trusted God. Praise God. Hallelujah. We can't afford to, hallelujah. We can't afford to get weak. We can't have, we can't afford to have rubbery legs. Oh, it's bad enough. You, you got the mic and you, you stronger than anybody else. You in the church, you're stronger than anybody else. But when the test come, when the trial come, when that giant come in your face and said, I heard all that boast that you were talking about. I heard all that, that talking that you were saying that you're going to do to me. I heard all that. Now what you going to do now? What you going to do now? I'm going to stand on the word of God. I'm going to trust God. I'm going to believe God to bring me through this devil. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. It's time out for pitter patting the devil. It's time to stand and tell the truth. Amen. There's nothing too hard for God. God will bring you through. God will see you through your storm. God will see you through your test. God will see you through your trial. But you got to trust God. Oh, my God from Zion. You got to trust God. Know that God will see you through it. Know that he will bring you through the storm. Praise God. He brought David out. David, David defeated. Ah, he defeated his enemy. He defeated the giant. The giant didn't defeat him. Praise God. Hallelujah. The giant did not defeat him. He defeated his enemy. Praise God. Don't you, don't you dare let the devil defeat you. Praise God. You got the great I am on the inside. You got the devil's boss man on the inside. Why would you allow the enemy to defeat you? Huh. Why would you allow the, allow the enemy to take your praise? Why would you allow the enemy to take your joy? Why would you allow the enemy, hallelujah, amen, to take your dance? Praise God. Why would you allow the enemy, amen, that giant, to take your prayer life? Why would you allow the enemy to take your faster life? Amen. It's time to face your giant. Hallelujah. Praise God. It's time to face your giant. We got to stand. That's right, Power Apostle. God will give you the victory. And we, we got to stand. We got to stand toe to toe. Amen. Praise God. Glory be to God. Sometimes people don't understand. Praise God. But God knows. He sees and he knows everything that we're having to deal with. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. But it's time to stand. Don't, uh -uh. don't you run. Don't run from your giant. Hallelujah. And praise God. When David defeated the giant. Amen. Praise God. And he came out on top. Praise God. Don't you know God's going to allow you to come out on top? If you defeat your giant, if you stand on the word of God, if you trust God, take God at his word. Yes, we quote the scripture. We quote the scripture all the time. The battle don't belong to us, belongs to God, blah, blah. But yet still, we try to, uh, we try to fight our own battle. Instead of saying, God, this is not my battle. This battle belongs to you. Ha! Ah, glory! And when you try to fight your own battle, praise God, and, he, and the enemy defeats you, then you start whining. Glory be to God. Uh, uh No, you don't have no reason to whine because you made the choice, amen, to try to fight it yourself instead of let God do God. And he done told you that battle don't belong to you. Give it to me. I want to do, I want to take care of you. I want to work it out for you. And you want to allow him to do it. We come up with excuses. Uh -uh. He said, I've done away with excuses on Golgotha, on the Golgotha Hill. I've done away with excuses. Trust me. Believe that I'm going to bring you through. David trusts God. David trusted in God. David knew that God was going to bring him through. David knew that he was going to get the victory. He knew that he was going to defeat the enemy. And at the end of the day, check out this. Even after cutting his head off, he, as he fell, amen, praise God, when he died, David went and took the head. And took it to Saul. Amen. Praise God. You can cut the devil's head off. Ah, you can cut the hallelujah. You can shut up the mouth of the lion. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Look at Daniel. And Daniel and the lion's den. Praise God. Huh? The king thought he was going to be defeated. Amen. They were all aware. They were concerned. But David, Daniel knew. Huh? He said, if he don't deliver, I'm not going to bow down. And David knew, praise God, if, that, if God don't deliver me, I still won't back up, devil. I won't back up Goliath. Amen. Because you done talked about my father now. <laughs> you done talked about my God. You done found and defiled the God of, of all things. We got to have the mentality. God, I'm going to trust you. It's not easy all the time. But you got to stand. You got to hold your head up high and stand and say, God, I thank you. I know you're going to bring me through this. I know you're going to see me through. Don't give up. Trust God. Stand. It's time to face your giants. 
Ah, it's time out for putting your tail between your legs and running and turning the other way. It's time to face the giant. Face this thing head on. And, amen. And you'll see yourself growing in the Lord. Praise God. When we stop giving in to the different things that we have to go through, the different things that we have to deal with, when we stop giving in to it, say, oh, devil, you have no authority in this habitation. I rebuke you right now. I bind you up right now. I send you back to the pit of God. You deal with it. It ain't my problem. Ha. <sighs> My God, he said whatever we bind on earth, he will bind it up in heaven. Glory be to God. I don't know what your giant is. I have no idea what your giant is, but I'll come to encourage you today and let you know, amen, that there's nothing too hard for God. <coughs> he wants to fight that battle for you. He wants to show you that you can win. Praise God. If he brought you through that, he'll bring you through this. No matter what this is. Hallelujah. I have no idea what your this is, but God knows what your this is. Hallelujah. I don't know what your giant is. I keep saying, I don't know what your giant is. But one thing I do know, I know God that sit high. And he looks down low and he knows what your giant is. Don't give up on God because he won't give up on you. Don't throw in the tower, amen, on God, because he's not going to throw in the tower for, on you. He's going to be right there as long as you allow him. He wants to do more for us. Amen. But we got to trust and believe, God, I know you're going to, I don't see how, but God, I know you're going to bring me through. Hallelujah. Whatever your giant is, it's time to face your giants, people of God. It's time to face your giant. It is. It's really time to face your giant. Glory be to God. It's time to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Amen. It's time out for talking it. It's time for living it. Glory be to God. We can talk anything, but action speaks louder than words. We can say anything, but action speaks louder than words. A lot of times, our actions don't um, line up with the words that we say. Ah, glory be to God. Hallelujah. As I shared earlier, amen, with the people of God. I said, let me tell you something. Our lives is on the Bible. The only Bible that some people is going to read. If we walk around defeated, what kind of God are we showing that we serve? We exemplify Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, when we walk out of our house, when we walk in our house, when we go from room to room, when we own our job, when we, wherever we at, when we in the store, we exemplify the character of Jesus Christ. If we walk around looking defeated and acting defeated, what is that saying about the God that we serve? What we're saying is God can't do it, but God can do anything. There's only one thing that God can't do, and that's he can't fail you. He cannot fail you, and guess what? He never will. Because there is no failure in God. Trust God even in the midst of your storm. Trust God even in the midst of your test. Trust God, people of God. Face your giant. Face your giant. Go head on. Huh. You thought you had me, did, but I got away. Glory be to God. God, I give you praise. Praise him right in the middle of it. Praise him right in the middle. I mean, not from your lips. Amen. A lot of times, people, you tell them to pray, and they're praising from the lips. But when you begin to pray from the depths of your soul, you find a breakthrough coming. Hallelujah. Amen. The songwriter Peter said, I feel a breakthrough coming my way. <laughs> Huh? How many of you, I feel a breakthrough. I don't care what uh, the giant is. You release that giant, face that giant. Hallelujah. But let the devil, I feel a breakthrough coming my way. Hallelujah. Glory to God. How many of y'all feel a breakthrough coming your way? A mighty move of God. Hallelujah. A mighty move of God. But we got to trust him. We got to trust him. We got to face that giant. Hallelujah. Amen. We got to get, hey, give it to God. Hallelujah. Tell God about it. Tell him, amen. Praise God. The song where I say, Jesus on the main line. Tell him what you want. He's able to bring you through it. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Trust God. Tell God about it. He, he's able. He'll see you through. He'll bring you through the test. Glory be to God. Put the, put your name on it. God, I need you to move right now. Oh, my, my, my bills are due. I don't have money to pay it. I, I'm being abused. I'm being mental abused. I'm being filled. Oh, God, this is, my, this is my giant. God, I need you to work this thing out. I don't know what to do, God. I give it to you, Lord. Huh, free my mind, God. Help me. Something's going on in my mind. The enemy's messing with my mind. God, send me a deliverance. I need a breakthrough, God. Ooh, I guarantee he'll come to your rescue if you trust him. Praise God. Stop trying to fight your own battle. 
Ah, thank, hallelujah. Stop because your arms ain't long enough. It ain't long enough to fight. Amen. Pray, stop trying to fight your own battle. Face your giant. Admit what you're going through. Glory be to God and give it to the Lord. Praise God. David faced his giant. He faced Goliath. Praise God. Hallelujah. He was not scared. God didn't give you the spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. So do you believe, it's either, it's at the end of the day, people of God, it's either you believe God or you don't believe God. At the end of the day, it's either you believe him and take him at his word, or you just quote the counsel that sound good. And understand, even after you quote it, because it sounds good, you held accountable to do what it said because you done put it out your mouth. Glory be to God. You got to believe the word of God. You got to stand on the word of God, no matter what it looks like. Hallelujah. God is able. Trust God. Hallelujah. Face your giant. I don't care what you're dealing with. I don't care how dark it look. There is nothing too hard for God. Nothing too hard for God. God is able to bring you through the storm. God is able to bring you through the test. God will see us through. And yes, he will. Because that's the kind of God he is. Glory be to God. Trust God at the end of the day. That, that he going to bring you to it. He, if he brought you to it, he's going to bring you through it. I guarantee you that. Amen. If he brought you to it, he's going to bring you through it. But you got to trust him. And know that he's going to bring you, bring you out. All right. He's going to bring you out on top. Glory to God. He's going to give you the victory right in the, in, in the midst of the enemy. <laughs> Hallelujah. He's going to give you the victory. No matter what it looks like, God is going to give you the victory. Praise God. So we got to let God know, God, I trust you. I'm depending on you, God. I know that you're going to bring me out, God. I know that you're going to bring me through the storm. I know that you're going to fight this battle for me. Ah, as a guy, fight this battle for me. Help my unbelief. Ha, ah, Lord, you won. We are one again. But we got to trust God. We got to trust God. Hallelujah. I pray that I said something today to encourage your heart. Praise God. Hallelujah. I pray I said something to give you something to think about, to stir up your mind. Amen. Glory be to God. Praise God. Ah, remember, remember the topic. The topic is this. It's time to face your giant. And after facing your job, and know that there's nothing too hard for God. He's able to bring you through. Now that you've heard the word, you're held accountable to walk in the word, to stand on the word of God. Knowing that God is going to see you through it, no matter what it looks like. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you right now for this word. We thank you for the ones that listen. God, I ask you right now to encourage their hearts, stir up their very mind, let this word stick with them. They will stand strong. They get some backbone and stand on the word of God. Hallelujah. Knowing that victory belongs to the saints of God. And I give you praise and I give you glory in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. You all have a blessed day. This is Pastor Barnes representing God House and Deliverance under the leadership. Amen. Of Pastor Martyr Williams at Praise Tabernacle in Dunn, North Carolina. Pray my strength in the Lord that I'll continue to stand and do everything that God has commanded me to do. Knowing that I love you dearly and there's really nothing you can do about it but love me back. Glory be to God. I thank you, everyone, that, that uh, came on on today. Amen. I want you to share it with your family. Share it with your friends. Share it with your loved ones, your your, your pastors, your bishop, your apostles, your evangelists, your prophets, the, whoever, share it, amen, that they may be encouraged, amen. It's time to face your giant. It's time out for being weak now. It's time to face your giant. It's time out for pushing it to the side. It's time to face your giant, knowing that God will see you through it. Hallelujah. I pray you have a blessed weekend. I pray that every service be all phenomenal, that the Lord will move, that souls will be saved, people will be delivered, yokes will be destroyed. Everything that God has planned for every service on this weekend. Praise God. Be safe. Be careful. Love on the Lord. Amen. Praise God. I pray that you were blessed through the word of God. That something was said to encourage your heart. Amen. Continue to pray for me that I continue to do the things that God has commanded me to do. Because I'm going to trust God. That's all I got. I'm going to trust God. I have no other choice. I'm going to trust God. Hallelujah. Amen. That he's going to see us through it. I'm believing God that he's going to bring you through. 
Praise God. Hallelujah. Have a great time. Amen. Until next week this time. Amen. I say be blessed. And I love you. And guess what? God loves you more than I do. He loves you dearly. Have a great weekend.